Hello there. Um, I'm sitting in my motorhome. Well, where else would I be? <laughs> and um, it's freezing outside, but it's lovely and warm in here, just in case anybody was anywhere near concerned about me. Um, I want to talk about emotions just briefly um, because I've just come off a call with um, my mindset person. Because I, I mean, I'm a coach, I'm a qualified life coach, um, I've got a ton of other stuff. But we all need, I think, we all benefit from having somebody to keep us accountable and to keep us on track and to nudge us when we get slightly off kilter. So um, so I've just come off call with my, um, my um, mindset mentor. And one of the things that um, came up was the fact that uh, it was a group call, there was a few of us. And it was right at the end and I, th I wasn't going to say any, I wasn't going to say anything because like, like I've said, I've been ill for bloody five weeks now and it's driving me mad. Um, but I just thought, no, I'm going to, I'm going to ask her this question because I've been feeling really angry, <laughs> really frustrated, really cross. I'm going to say like a toddler, I really have, you know, when you get so bloody frustrated and annoyed and fed up that you you kind of get cross and want to cry at the same time I've really been feeling like that because I am unwell this virus has been kicking my butt for five weeks and I'm knackered and this week I actually had to stop um, I had a few clients and in between times I have slept and it bores me witless. It's a waste of time. It's just frustrating. Um, so yeah, so I had these emotions and what, you know, she said was, you know, let them be there. And I bloody tell you guys that I tell my clients that, you know, let the emotions be there, acknowledge them, don't try and push them down. So she said, you know, just say things like, you know, um, I, I allow frustration to be in my body. I allow anger to be in my body. I give permission for the toddler tantrums to be in my body. And do you know what it is? 20 minutes later, I do feel much calmer. And I also journaled it. I wrote it out and, and kind of worked through it that way as well. And, you know, I say it again, I say to clients, there's no good emotions, there's no bad emotions. They're just emotions and they're there to give us a purpose they're there they all have their lessons that they can teach us and yeah I need to listen to myself more often <laughs> so I did so after the call like I say um I did some work with with Leslie and then I did some journaling and then I sat here in my motorhome and I'm not um I'm not in my usual place I, I went for a bit of a wander off today because I'm a bit bored of looking at the same scenery um so I sat here, and it's very busy, and I sat here in the in the motorhome with poor Rudy the Labrador cuddled up in his bed, and I had a rant. I sat and I effed and blinded about the injustice of being this ill when I've got so much to do, of the frustrations of things that have happened today, of things people have said, and blah, blah, blah. And I felt so much better for it. So, yeah. So if you've got an emotion, don't bury it. Because as I say, can I say it to clients all the time? Um, you know, it just, it'll bubble away under the surface. Like like magma about to burst forth from a volcano. You know, it's only so much pressure and then it'll ping. And it usually pings at the wrong time. So I'm glad I asked the question. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So, And for the vigilant amongst you, this here my lovely black eye <laughs> was my poor Labrador woke me up at six o'clock the other morning in need of a loo break it was minus bloody six outside um and he needed a pee and his way of telling me was to put his paw across my face and he scratched me and I have a lovely black eye so maybe when I go outside to take him for a pee in a minute and all these people that were wondering who this mad woman was effing and blinding in the motorhome they'll give me a wide berth because <laughs> I look a bit dodgy anyway I just thought I'd share that and um I hope it was helpful